this is a boil. What, what, this is carrying sediment and water from the other side of the levee. What we're trying to do is contain it here to try to even the pressure between this side of the levee and the other side of the levee. If, this, if, this, if we can maintain that pressure, we're successful. If not, it could go bigger, 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 and bigger, and eventually cause a breach. And cause a, I mean, like big chunks right, coming out. Right. So literally, this is coming. I mean, it is tunneled. Coming right through. It's tunneled through. Right. And down the road here, about two and a half miles, in the Blackhawk section, mm -hmm. is a boil that we failed to contain. Mm -hmm. We weren't able to do it. It's getting bigger and bigger, and that's the area that we are concerned that it may collapse. Mm -hmm. So this is just a big, it begins small, but it could get, if we don't get on it right away, it could enlarge and enlarge and enlarge and cause the whole section to come out. Walking or driving the levee, looking for these, and then they'll mark it with a orange flag like this, and then we'll come and sand, sandbag it. Even though the entire levee is saturated and unsafe, right now we can't, I can't point to say, eh, right there, 24 hours from now, that's gonna wash out. Mm -hmm. We just don't know what we have here. In other words, a modern levee is made out of steel and concrete. Our engineers, they know the dynamics of that. This was built by a bunch of farmers 120 years ago. It shouldn't even be called a levee. It's a dike made of sand. And the, the dynamics of what would happen with a fail, if it failed, we don't know.